Music purchasing in recent years has changed dramatically. With the rise of MP3 and other digital formats, many wouldn't associate vinyl records as a format synonymous with the iPod generation. However, research recently conducted by ICM has shown that the vinyl resurgence is being driven by those aged under 25. The research we conducted also found that 1 in 20 people had bought a vinyl record in the last month. CDs were the most popular format, with MP3s perhaps surprisingly coming second. With increased popularity of events such as Record Store Day and an increased engagement amongst the young with independent record stores, could this be signalling a resurgence in physical formats, especially vinyl, to the mainstream? With this in mind, ICM went to Record Store Day to ask people, why do you prefer vinyl? Well, there's something special about owning a vinyl. I mean, you can own a CD, but you can get that anyway. You can get that HMV. And this kind of special point vinyls, it's just like a nice thing to have in the collection. Okay. feels good to listen to them. It's such a nice looking aesthetic format that I just enjoy having it. Three issues are quite good because, yeah. you know, the original, I mean, I listen to a lot of my dad's records and then, you know, they are originals, but the sound quality is not that good. So the beauty of a reissue is that you can enjoy the sound of the old record, but the good, the better sound quality. So I think they're just nicer to have as a general thing. I think they're better than a CD. CDs are sort of, I don't know, maybe MP3 or whatever. I think vinyls are just a nice, object to have. I just like the format of a record, the, the cover art and just, you know, the whole routine of putting it on, and listening to it fully. So, so lots of people say kind of, you know, the sound quality is better and of course there are aspects in terms of, um, you don't, it's not as compressed and you can actually hear the difference sometimes but the other thing is just um, so you can get things that you can't necessarily get on the MP3, get on your iTunes, get on your Amazon. Nothing really beats, again, like I said, the ritual of having a CD or vinyl. If how music is delivered dictates the listening experience, then vinyl has indeed re-emerged as the preeminent method and means for listening to one's favorite music. The resurgence in vinyl sales has been a great boost for the independent trade. The launch of the official vinyl charts tells the world that a format that is loved and revered is more relevant now than ever. Far from being a curiosity, vinyl is the go-to format for many music fans. That's from UK vinyl retailer Phil Barton of Sister Ray Records in Soho, London. One might ask why more people aren't going into the business of manufacturing vinyl records to meet the current demand, and the answer is quite simple. It was once a multi-billion dollar industry in the 1960s, 70s, and even into the 80s, and then it dwindled with the advent of the CD and the MP3s. But the advent of those technologies also brought with it quite a different experience for the listener. What would be impossible to know until now is that the delivery of the music dictates the experience. I like having the physical like the physical vinyl, having like the bigger version of the artwork. The thing is like yeah, if you're listening to say a CD, it's usually because of convenience. Mm -hmm. And you know, if therefore if you want to have a record, it's because you want to have you know the big picture, you want to have the something tangible and it's much nicer to have. It is nice to have because it's it's you know you get the it's a big giant record cover and, and stuff like that which is which is quite nice. I think it sounds better, vinyl sounds better. I like I like the kind of crackling sound. I yeah. think it sounds pretty cool. When you've got the crackle when you've listened Listen to the, your favourite vinyl, you know, after so many times, it's just it makes it sound so much better. It's there's more romance in a, yeah. in a vinyl record. So what is the viability of a vinyl record manufacturing plant in 2016? Well, we can't really apply that chart we saw earlier from the 1970s to today's economic landscape. Things are simply just too different. We have a global depression that set in 2008, and although there's speculation regarding why the entertainment industry flourishes and in fact even surges during times of economic hardship, the numbers speak for themselves and tell us that the demand for vinyl is greater than the ability to produce it. An analysis published in the Wall Street Journal last year indicates growth potential that far exceeded expectations, and although the 2016 numbers aren't in yet, it is expected that they will meet or exceed the performance from 2009 up till now. Large music retailers have suffered in recent years, with the closure of many well-known stores from the high street, as well as the number of independent stores reducing dramatically since the 1980s. A positive note for music on the high street is that our research suggests that many people prefer to buy their music from an independent record store. Of all those who purchased music in the last month, two in five have preferred to buy any music from an independent store. As well as this, 8 in 10 of vinyl buyers would prefer to buy their exclusive CD and vinyl records from an independent store. Awareness of independent stores is highest amongst those aged 18 to 24, with around half being aware of an independent store local to them. 
Around a quarter of 18 to 24 year olds visit their local independent store at least once every two weeks. I usually try to go to independent stores. I think it's quite nice to kind of <laughs> actually go to the store and actually support yeah. them. So yeah, I try to. Try to go to the stores when we can, but like if we can't find a particular record that, in a store, then we yeah. tend to go online. It's yeah. nicer to buy a record from a shop because yeah. the whole idea of a record is that it's tangible. Over the counter, because um, sometimes the guys in there know things that you don't know about, yeah. uh, can give you guys little tips and you know kind of find out stuff through there. There's something very kind of satisfying about searching through like the boxes of records yeah. and then finding the one you want. Okay. and then picking it out and thinking, yeah, kind of, it's like a kind of trophy. Engagement with record stores is even higher amongst those who buy vinyl. Of those who purchased vinyl in the last month, over 8 in 10 were aware of an independent store local to them, and over half of vinyl buyers visit their independent store at least once every two weeks. Record Store Day provided a great example of the new view of record stores and provided a platform for those who regularly buy vinyl and visit independent stores to interact with each other. Nice day, isn't it? Come buy some records, get involved in the atmosphere, just a bit of live music. Well, there's just so much new things from so many different artists, and it's quite exciting that like, just everyone's out, and you know, there's all these different record things, lots of different things happening all over London. I think it's mainly the exclusiveness uh, yeah, of it. When I heard the date this year, I've made like, extra effort to come down, because we're not from London. I've been for like, a couple of years now, so, uh, so it's good to kind of try and get some like, new bits and bobs and try and get the limited edition stuff that comes out. I, I missed it last year, basically, so, uh, I, and I regretted that a lot. There's, there's a lot of strange old albums that are being repressed yeah. just, just for today. They're very expensive, but, you know. There's always often, like, special one-off releases for the day, and you're, if they're banjee light, you might as well turn up and try and get hold of the issues that come out. I went to a thing last year as well, because it's been going since about 2007 or 2008. Um, and, you know, it's, it just gets bigger and better every year, I think. Young music fans are now reverting back to formats and ways of listening to music ordinarily associated with their parents' generation. Our research points to a revival in record store culture and a possible resurgence of vinyl to the mass market. But will it be enough to save music retailers on the high street?